Hey guys, how are you? In today's video, I will be sharing you my thoughts on the Take an Old Slim Weekly Planner after using it for three months. So, I did a review of this planner, an in-depth review, so it just just in case you would want to watch that you can find it in my videos and i think i did mention that i will be giving a review of it after a couple of months using it and this is it so first is um the cover page or the the cover no not the cover page the cover I maintained it as is because I love the design. I did not put any cover or designs. What I added is the tabs for the month. And I chose the color that best complement the cover page. And also the um, color of the grid lines. Um, this is the first and second page of the gun chart, which I put my sort of yearly overview, the highlight schedule, and wish lists for a specific month. Um, I just find that although I write the some stuff in this page, I don't normally look look up this page as much as i should but i just i think i'll probably keeping this as is if in case i'll buy another planner after i've used it all up i'll probably be um having the same use of the gun chart for the um, third and fourth page of the Gantt chart, which is the budget or expense um, page. I just thought that this um, this columns are too narrow for me for the budgeting. That's why I've stopped using it after a month and i for the follow following purpose for the budgeting and all i've used my the hobonichi this the hobonichi memo pad i list all of my expenses in here no designs just daily expenses because I'm the type of person that goes nuts when I don't know where my money has gone so it's fine if I spent um, or splurge as long as I know every cent of my money went to so that's why this is this was my choice of a planner and i just think that this is so perfect because it fits my wallet and i just i just could slip it in so i've separated my so that's the first update i've removed my budgeting and expenses page in this planner and now we'll go to the dailies or weeklies weekly pages um i would say that i still love it as much as i love it on the first day that i've started using it um I just noticed that recently that the grid sizes for this planner are much more smaller than the Hobonichi 
day free because I'm using it now the day free and I just noticed that this is has or this has the smaller size and maybe I got so used to using this planner that's why my I think the size of my writing is also um, conform to the size of this grid lines that's why I'm not not really having a difficulty but sort of I'm a little ha I'm a little feeling weird of using the 3.7 mm grid lines now because of this so the designs I've used from start to the current pages I really kept it um, when it comes to the stickers I chose I choose it's I chose is normally the size of it is smaller than the size of the stickers I normally pick for the a5 size planner as you can see these are smaller in size but I do have um, I do have some larger size stickers but normally it's just one either and mostly I place it on the sides sort of the main sticker I do added some note paper as you can see on the um, recent months which I also like because I became more experimental after using it for two to three months right but still I kept mostly in a smaller size as for the color I think I've discussed how much I love gray or neutral gray as sort of my background color because I just think that it's a color that is so relaxing for me and since um, this banner also has that kind of color in the green lines it just um, coincides with with what I like and then as for the sticker colors since it is a neutral gray color I, I do have the flexibility of using any color combinations I could think of so I don't have any difficulties or I don't have any limitations in terms of colors that I can use because of the color of the grid lines that's why I love it a lot right and as for the as for the layout that I do or not the layout but um, the planning system I have I did decide even even from the start to categorize my tasks if you want to have a detailed con detailed review of it you can watch my video for my work planning system I mean personal planning system so I do categorize my food the chores activity schedule and even the clothes that I'll be wearing or the outfits and then this lower portion will be allotted for just in case I have a dream and I could remember it I'll be writing it at the bottom I'm still using that um, kind of system up to the present. I did uh, 
um, experimented with the Alistair method in the chores category wherein I list all the chores in here and then for the dailies um, I just put um, the details the additional details for that chore but I just thought that I probably go back with just listing it on a specific day my, my chores listing the chores on a specific day that I'm doing it instead of doing the Alistair, Alistair method maybe I could do it in something else and I haven't really have I haven't designed the last week of the year because I got so busy with all the um, get-togethers, dinner, meetups because of the Christmas season that's why I haven't designed it but thankfully I am still updated with my um, entries on it because I love this planner a lot and I'm kind of really dependent on it now and that probably is it and really the main um reason for this or the main topic of this um video is just i really um still so satisfied and content with this planner i love it so much that's why i am gonna be continuing to use it and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be also using this type of planner to replace my work planner for the second quarter of the year but i'll give you an update and just in case there are some changes that i'll be doing either um removing some categories of this planner and transferring it to a work planner i will be updating you giving you an update on the second quarter and i do hope i've shared all of the important things that i would want to share in this planner and just in case you would want um to know some things you can ask me through the comment section and i do love to hear from you what to think of my planning system any suggestions would be welcome and really thank you for being with me for the starting from last year when i got um kind of consistent with my video um posting i thank you for joining me i thank you for always joining me in my designs and chats and video i want to thank you for joining me for the last couple of months of the year during my video postings my design sessions my plan with me videos and all and i hope you are all well and thank you for watching till next time